Right, what I'm going to do, I've changed my mind, I'm not using these. Um, I've decided that I'm just not going to have enough time to do it. I think this would be a good idea, and I'm going to finish off the CAD model because I have a good idea with that. Uh, but I'm not going to do it now because I'm just not going to have time for this year. So I've got an op another option, which I will show you in a minute. But for today, I'm going to take this off in a sec, and I'm going to start making the fiberglass uh, modifications for fitting the three-quarter inch pipe. So I'm just going to quickly finish off this thing uh, for the bulk cap, which is the bracket to hold the forks in an upright position. I've just checked the angle of that to make sure that it's the same as the other, and it's in exactly the right place, which it is. Uh, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the tanks today. But the absolute priority before any of this um, is to have a cup of tea. Done, I've done a really hefty bead on that actually because this is going to be taking a lot of weight so it needs to be, I want it to drop to bits. Right, what I think I'm going to do is put two uh, flotation bags attached um, on either side that I can deploy from the inside. It should be a lot easier than making these. The reason I'm doing this is because I lose air from these main tanks. Now remember these are, these are the only things that thing that keeps you up on the surface. And it's really unnerving when I'm standing in the tower and I get a wave and I lose a whole load of air and it, the whole bow sinks down and then I have to pump air in again from my tank. Um, and also if these tanks were damaged, remember I put these covers on here, which I'm not sure was a great idea. I always worry that they might break or crack or, you know, if one, if one of these broke, I, I, I'd end up with a, with a damaged tank. So. This is good. This is a kind of a compromise between the two. It should be a lot easier. Now I've ordered um, two of these, which I'll put up. But I've actually already got some um, some flotation bags and some lift bags. I just want to see. So this is my box that I got that normally lives in the support boat, and it's it contains all the emergency equipment. Um, Kind of looks a bit like something Indiana Jones would, would fish out in there, but I, I can't actually remember what's in here, so I actually want to have another look. Um, it does, I did actually write it on the lid. Large floats, air pump, lift bags, water pump, flotation bags, bailer, cargo net. Uh, that shouldn't be in there. That's stuff for the boat. That should not Right, what have I got? That's a water pump, so 24 volt pump, so I could use that to pump water. But this is all stuff that the boat would pass down to me. This is the air pump now, might use that. Uh, not sure what that's doing in there either. I think I used that as a baler. This is what I was after lift bags. Now, What size are these? What size are they? I reckon they're pretty big though. Two of these. So, does it actually say what they are? I think, I reckon this is a 50 kilo. Uh, if that was rolling it up. Tied up with a piece of Velcro, and then put into a tube to make it neat, that attached, then I get an airline in there, job done, and then I should be able to deploy it. That's, that's, uh, this is an option, so let's see what they're like. Um, 
just wanted to see what else is in here actually. What on earth is this? I think it's another, it's another uh, float, flotation bags. I think that's, I think that's these. What the use of that would be. Uh, there's an anchor. That's a converter. My battery setup. And these are two gigantic floats which I bought off eBay. And they could be used in a real emergency to float the floats off around. Right, move the camera up here. So what I'm doing is I'm going to I'm changing this pipe for three quarter inch pipe to make the vents vent quicker. Um, and also this thing here, I made it. And it really isn't very good. It leaks somewhere, just a tiny little leak, and that's added adds to the problem of these tanks not holding air properly. So what I'm going to do, I've got these discs, laser cut, and I'm going to just fit them on there like that, and I'm going to put some cork, neoprene cork, underneath that, and I'm going to weld that into there, and make that fit somehow. And put some holes in to drill it through, obviously, and bolt it and everything. Let's get on with it. <laughs> two holes that's got to go in there be welded in or fitted in somehow Okay, so the whole point of this backing plate thing is that I'm hoping it's going to stop or at least minimise the distortion because I don't want this to bend at all. And I'm going to be super, super slow with this. I'm just going to do one little blob and then I'm going to leave it to cool down. There we go, one little blob. Right, I'm not going to make any... Uh, I could go, go to the rigmarole of undoing all these, but it's really awkward to get underneath, so I'm just going to chop these off. I've made sure my viewports are covered. Let's get rid of them. great idea here what I'm going to do is use this really expensive wood chisel as a scraper this is like the golden rule of woodworking I think so I'm told you don't do this with your chisels what do I know Not a woodworker Finished, made a uh, 
cork neoprene gasket. There we go, that's it. I'm going to seal those on with a bit of sticker flex, three bolts through. Done. So I'm now ready. That's the other one as well. So I've done both sides. Ooh. Yeah, so I've done both sides and um, it's all ready for the new pipe work, which is being made this week. Should we go home? Should we go home? Come on then.